guys YouTube community <laughs> so uh, I am with Trent from Born and Raised we got Cody and Wes back there setting up the slow-mo camera and uh, I invited myself along here today to Not test really out self invite well you know you gotta you gotta ask <laughs> so but uh, so we have arrows broadheads we have a whole setup a camera I don't even want to know it just looks cool it's huge it's slow-mo camera and we're gonna be doing some destruction tests today and broadhead tests. So. That's why you're here. That's right. <laughs> I don't even sometimes know what I'm shooting or how FOG or whatever it's called. <laughs> anyway, I don't know anything about that. But then I thought, you know what, who does know all about that and who's done these videos is Garrett. So that's why we called up Garrett and said, hey, you want to do a collaboration? We're going to have some super, super fun today. Yeah. Constructing arrows. We got a whole bunch of them here on the tailgate. We're going to show you in a second. But um, we'll start just mangling some stuff. It's going to be fun. So he's got his Hoyt Ultra 70 pound. And uh, I was talking to him about this bow earlier. His daughter chose the strings, the, the color combination. And, and uh, we're going to be shooting pretty similar. You're a 29 inch draw? 29. Yeah. And 28. So our bows should be shooting pretty darn similar as far as speeds and stuff like that. So Perfect. His, uh, his bow, my bow, we're going to be shooting today. And I think we're about ready to set up, yeah? I think so. I think we're good to go. So let's get this video on the road. Let's do it. Run in there and just start beating on that thing when I after I shoot. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So we realized the little part of the board wasn't, wasn't going to do anything. So we ramped it up. We got what is that? Is that half inch? Half inch plywood for our first test. So we're going to redo. Uh, still sitting with the Rampage Black Eagle with uh, no. No weight forward, no nothing. Here we go. If I can hit the target. Nice. I don't think it did any damage. But... Holy cow, though. It slowed it down so much. It didn't even penetrate the... Uh... Didn't even make it to the flesh, did it? Well, no, but it didn't even... It just made a, a dent. What's it look like for insert, outsert, things? Everything looks fine, right? Looks good. Arrow stayed together, knock is still on. Knock is still on. All right, let's do the next one. Sweet. You know what I mean? You'll have to go with how much goes in, Three. not sticking out. Yeah. All right, so should we rock and roll? Just shoot another one? What's our next one? Next arrow, up the bat. Um, I should have another axis, because this one, okay. I had two, I know that. That one's cracked to hell too. Hmm. What the hell have I been shooting? Uh, <laughs> Jeez, hard on stuff. Look at him run, he's an athlete, like a gazelle. Johnny, don't run with the arrow. <laughs> I think he'd be mad if I put one in his, uh, in his uh, wrap. In the stern, broadhead. So our next arrow up to bat is the. So our next arrow up to bat is the Easton Axis 340 infused carbon. With uh, what do I call it, Wes? Standard insert St or an ounce. <laughs> Standard insert. Money. We've got, we've got wood. Same, pretty much. Sweet. What do we got here for this arrow? Okay. Should we do the interview for that? Sure. So, next arrow is going to be a full metal jacket, five millimeter, made by Easton, with no outs. What's the date again, Wes? Or outs. That's right. Standard. Standard. Full metal jacket. FMJ, 50 grain brass insert. Testing. Try to shoot just below those arrows. Below them? Just below them, yeah. 
Oh wow. Not as much penetration. Idle that one okay, and then yeah. go below that. Then go oh I'm I can do three too. Okay. That way we utilize the wood what we got. FMJ coming up a bit short. I was surprised we're shooting a log down there at the uh, at the board. It didn't go deeper than that. But yeah, and that that's a yeah. heavy arrow. That's a heavy arrow. I should have went. I should have plowed through that. But I don't know. That's what we're doing this for. So yeah, that's a, I believe a six millimeter autumn orange. This was a limited edition a couple years ago or last year. Uh, it's a 320 spine. So it's going to be a little bit lighter than a regular FMJ. Basically it's the same material as an FMJ, just a little bit lighter. Perfect. Headed down range. You ready? Is yeah. it ready? Yeah, we're ready. All right. There goes the autumn orange. Autumn orange. Autumn thunder. Woo! Shot a little higher. They did, a Did you really? Yeah. That's awesome. So we got to keep in mind these aren't penetration tests per se because we're using different arrow weights. This is a destruction yeah. video. So right. while I do bring up the uh, the penetration, it's it is a destruction video. Next up is a rampage, but it's got a little outsert on it. So we're in the uh, we're in the outsert. We're in the collard family. Testing. Plowski. And this guy here. And they're the same, pretty much the same weight, right? Mm -hmm. I'm really curious what our face is going to do. Well, the, the reason behind that is because it's in, in plywood, especially. Yeah, you're punching, you're, you're yeah. basically punching it. The hole is bigger the than. Yeah. yeah. As same long with as the, your, same as long with the as rib, broad, same with anything, right? As long as your broadhead ferrule is the same as the outsert. Right. Correct. Then it's going to be all kosher. Yep. But I think we're going to see a trend here and just with the next three arrows, that, that kind of same way. So we'll be able to talk about it. Because of the outsert? I think so. Or the uh, footing? Mm -hmm. I think so. Just because it's the diameter is... Greater going You're greater. creating that hole, yeah. Yeah. And then how does that interpret to animals too? So like rib makes the big hole first and the rest of the arrow just follows it and it causes it's less drag it's less essentially drag. it's essentially cutting a wider hole for the a wider hole is being cut for the entire shaft to follow so there's essentially less drag on 28 inches of shaft as it's being pulled through right i do like the shard that is stuck in the target uh, next up is the vap by victory arrows it's got an ounce or a Collar too, I guess you'd say, right, Cody? No, it's a half out. Dang it, half out, half out, and it's a little bit longer than the last one we shot. So we'll see it and see what happens here. Under. Yep. You like it? I like it. Trick's going to be getting them out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can cut them out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six arrows now in there. What do you think? I, you know, I'm curious for the next few. But as far as damage tests so far, pretty much zero damage to the arrows. Yeah, it's... All, all we're recognizing is a little yeah. bit more in penetration, right? Right. And Debatably, because of the components that are at the front of the arrows, correct, is what is penetrating deeper. Right. On to the next. I'm thinking so. I like how you're calling your shots now. You're getting a little confident. Really confident. Okay, axis. What do we got, Garrett? That's an axis uh, 345 millimeter. This is coming in at 458 grains. I know that because that's my hunting arrow this year. And uh, yeah, I'm expecting that to do really well. It better. You're hoping. I can't blame the shooter, so. Let's do it. You could blame the shooter all you want, actually. <laughs> all right, lower. Here, let me uh, get my other one on here. Just below the uh, FMJ that's sticking out. Okay, I'll aim low too, because I bet this is light. 
Ready? Ready. Testing. Ooh, where's the outsert here? Woo! <laughs> <Lot lower. laughs> So I repeat, this is not a, uh, a penetration test, guys, but it's really churning into one really quick here because that's one of the lightest arrows we got with a footer on there that I put on there. And that's darn near the best penetration we've got so far. I, I do. All right, guys, now we have the arrow that we shoot. This is the Day 6 HDs with the collar. I predict this is gonna go well. Look at that form. <laughs> oh, a long arrow. Oh. Explosion. Yeah. That is the winner so far. Chicken dinner. That did go well. That's a, how, how heavy is that arrow? 600 grains. 600 grains. That's a killer. There's definitely something to that collar on the end because you can just tell with just the penetration of all the arrows even the longer arrows because they're going to hit this bag and stop obviously they went in through the plywood clear into the bag and they're like cody's arrows they're 31 inches mm -hmm. they're long so that's pretty good testament to the durability of them so now we're going to destruct more what's our next test quartering quartering shot so we're, we're going to angle snap. a bigger thicker sheet of plywood i think aren't we or we didn't do that yeah, aluminum three quarter inch MDO three or the alum i mean either or and we're just gonna see by a quarter a deflection shot on something super hard and just see if they snap off or if the uh, if they take it. Are we ready? Testing. You're good. So are we done? How was that? Good so kind of aim back just this side of where the board's in. Try to increase the target basically. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Holy smokes. Somebody could have been killed. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. That ended up small. Right? <laughs> <That's> just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one didn't go as expected, I guess, huh? Oh, well, my question Holy is do crap. we. Keep I don't think anything's going to survive this test. And just see which one has the least amount of damage, maybe? Yeah. This is your arrow. Oh, yeah. This is you. What do you feel is going to happen here? Uh, based on our other predictions, it's going to not survive. <laughs> so we've got an axis with the uh, collar on it. Yep. Let's try it. Those poor fletchings. Those fletchings really took a, took a beat. Okay. like that. Good penetration. I seen something come back by the camera there. I did too. That's a fletching. Uh, and, oh, the knock's right by Wes's foot the over there. here. So yeah. the knock slapped about out 10, 12 feet. Two tests. Come on, be together. None of the rest of the arrow survived. All fletchings, That's knock, it. broke off inside. First one. But the arrow withstood it. Looks like my nerdiness is starting to pay off. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's the nerdiest to pay off. The hey, <laughs> I'm down for that. All right. Awesome. Nice. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. Hey, good choice. That's a good arrow. A good arrow. <laughs> My arrow passed the test. <laughs> that looks solid. I saw it fletching. I did see it fletching. Okay. Moment of truth. Boom. Busted right at the um, pin. Right at the pin. The rest of the arrows stayed together. Can't find it in there. 
Okay, so to recap today's events. Arrow test, all we did was we did the plywood test, shot yep. through it. From, I mean, it, you could see penetration, but it wasn't for penetration. Right. But we only had one arrow come out of that test, and all the rest that we had, we did the angled test. These four arrows, five arrows, did not seem to, I mean, they just busted. They just broke right in two. A lot of them broke on the on the insert end, pretty close to where the insert ended in the arrow or started in the There were some that had pieces yep. that, you know, but what we did notice is the collar arrows actually were just not all the way survivors because this collar arrow broke right at the tip, but uh, this arrow, the, arrow didn't break, the, insert. the insert, right. yeah, the insert broke, but all the fletchings and everything stayed on. This arrow, no fletchings left and splintered on the end, but it held up in the tip. It held up. And in the first test, like you said, this isn't a penetration test, but we are getting really good results when you have a larger diameter on the front end here, followed by a smaller diameter in the back. So these bigger diameter footers and heads are creating a bigger hole for the rest of that arrow to go through, and you're getting better penetration. This got the second best penetration outside of uh, Cody's arrow, despite this being 150 grains lighter, about. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's a 600 grain arrow versus a 458 grain arrow. And these just, they just broke. I mean, there was no, they just, they just fell apart. So, so, and then we did the deflection test after we did the straight on uh, plywood test. Yeah. And um, yeah, that, that was pretty interesting. Really nothing survived. Your guys' arrows did pretty good. They had that component right here that broke, but. So what is that collar? So this is a uh, this is a Elk River Archery custom footer. He made me these to put on my arrows this year, um, and so far they they have really held up. They did I good. am, yeah, I am. I'm pretty tickled. They did good. <laughs> they did really good. Yeah, uh, you know you can't blame the the fletch job. I'm using wraps, and I was worried. I said before the test, I'm like I'm worried about my wraps coming off with the veins. Right, right. And then my insert actually broke off, or my uh, no. knock actually broke off inside the uh, and landed about 12 feet that way. So, so, guys, take from it what you will uh, and make your own decisions. Do your own tests. Don't just take our word for everything because obviously these were all different arrows. They were different grains of arrows. They were different weights. Diameters, they were different lengths. diameters, lengths. We didn't do like a, you know, strategic. Everything was the same. The only thing that was the same is we shot it out of the same, all of them out of the same bow. So yep. That was about it. Um, I think it was fun. Yeah, that was <laughs> First one that went into the to the deflection actually actually jumped. jumped it was bit. so loud. So next is the broadhead test. We're gonna do some broadhead testing and see uh, some. We have a lot fun. of broadheads, including one mechanical, which I'm dying to see how that that does. This should be good. So yeah. thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you, Garrett, for coming with us. Yeah, thanks for and, having me. And um, this was awesome. Let's go. Let's go break some more stuff. Yeah. See you on the next one.